What are blockchains? The blockchain is made up of blocks, I guess, obviously. Fictionist, we're having a normal conversation. I say hi, nice to meet you, I'm Nathan. And then I go on to talk about some flashy new blockchain news and you go on to not know what I'm talking about. That's fine, and you're not alone. But after this video, you'll be like a row at financial media. Yeah. Well, at least enough to make smarter decisions and conversations about important ideas that are spelling out our collective financial futures. This time around, the adults are in the hot seat, but the premise stays the same. A kid does understand it. That's me, and they can too. This is blockchains, simply put. Let's bring in our guest. Hey, Richie. What do you do for a living? I am a real estate broker in New York City. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, what do you think adults can learn from kids these days? What's going on currently? Take us away from our old way of thinking and see it through the eyes of a kid, I think is really important. It's very true. As a, as a kid, I can say that it is uh, very accurate. Have you heard about blockchains before? I have. I've seen it in the papers all the time and I hear people talking about it and I have no idea what it is. Blockchains really, really aren't that hard to understand. Let's start with the word blockchains, right? It's already a visual. A blockchain is a puzzle set, and each block is a different piece. Specifically, a puzzle that only connects on two sides of each piece. Each piece is a puzzle. Imagine it like a little notepad, a piece of paper, tiny words written on it. We call these words data. Now, blockchains are a form of DLT. Do you know what that is? Fair enough. It stands for Distributed Ledger Technology. It is a way of keeping records digitally that happens in a distributed form, like the different pieces right now. We are in different separate locations, but we're still talking to each other. Blocks exist to hold records, right? This can be anything from medical records, taxes, proof of ownership, and yes, of course, financial transactions. Let's talk about the three ways that they're secure. Hashes, proof of work, and decentralization. Do you know what those are by any chance? Um, not really. That's okay. Okay, so back to the puzzle. You see like all these unique connecting shapes and positions? Each block on the blockchain has a hash. Hashes are often compared to fingerprints because, like fingerprints, they're completely unique, right? Just a jumble of letters and numbers created by one complex algorithm. It's used to connect one block on the chain to the next. Proof of work. It allows us to, like, add blocks to the blockchain. Here we have two plus two, right? If I solved it and I got four, I would then have the ability to create a new block on the chain, decentralization. Because there is many versions of the same ledger all over the same map, if you edit even one with proof of work, only one ledger will change, and the rest can see the edit, call it out as false, and protect the chain's information. But basically, the, the, the blockchain just oversees everything. Exactly. His actions happen within that world. It is just a digital remembering of it, which is Pretty cool. My question, what are blockchains? Blockchain is a decentralized way of storing information. Each block is very protected um, by a thing called a hash, and a hash is made up of the huge numerical equation form of encryption. There are so many checks and balances within this blockchain that any kind of transaction that's not legit just isn't gonna isn't gonna fly. That's what I know. Love to see it. Today we broke down one of the most important building blocks in digital currency and crypto anything. Thank you, Richie. You're officially as smart as an adult. <laughs> this was blockchains, simply put. Blockchains are so much more than cryptocurrency. We can use blockchains to sign or autograph documents, digital art, anything, or even to certify a fact check news story. Say you own a business and you want to invest in blockchain. Consider the problem that you're trying to solve. Will it lose you money? Or will you solve the problem and gain more?